spring on the sides of the guy one okay all right there's a little bit of water left okay so I'm I'm finding myself like pressed for space because uh, I'm left-handed so I'm having trouble handling <laughs> the Gangdo Bay so I'm switching it around so but uh, you can set it up where you're most comfortable okay so let's do the pour again high pour on the side of the guy one okay make sure the tea leaves are wet so this is uh, rinsing the tea leaves so this is the first rinse so we're gonna just make sure the tea leaves are sanitized or clean before uh, drinking it okay so we're gonna use the filter Okay, I'm just uh, setting up my teacups here. We're going to use the filter. So we put the filter on top of the Gongdo Bay. And try to make sure. Okay, the idea is to make sure that the tea leaves are wet and rinsed. Okay, so I'm going to make my uh, aperture. And or into the Gangdo Bay. So this is the first rinse. So we don't normally drink the first rinse. It's just it's just used to uh, clean the leaves. So you can just dunk the water uh, once the leaves are wet and that's it. So we're not really brewing it yet. But basically the first rinse would have a lot of the aroma uh, and flavor attached to it so we're going to need that to pour those elements into the cups so I'm just making sure the leaves are inside the guy one and removing the filter next you pour it onto the teacups Okay. So if the water is too hot, so if the water is too hot, uh, make sure to pour high. Okay. All right. So here we're going to smell. Okay. Again, exhale and then inhale. Okay. And then appreciate the color of the tea. And pour it on to our tea pet. So in this case, the tea might have a lot of particles. So you might see a lot of particles on the rinse portion of brewing. So that's okay. Uh, we're not going to drink that anyway. Okay. So just pour it on the tea pets. All right. Okay, there's a little bit of the tea left on the Gangdao Bay. Make sure it's empty so that we can start fresh. Again, pour on the tea pets. All right, so we're going to pour all of that on the tea pets. So that's the first drink that you're tea tea drink that your tea pets will have and here we're gonna pour in water again since the water is hot I'm doing a high pour and we're gonna try to rinse the lid and remove the leaves on the lid and that includes also the flavor that's on the lid Okay, I'm doing a circular high pour because I want to keep the tea leaves in center and then a very high pour to make sure that 
we get the temperature controlled. Okay, put on the lid. Okay, make sure the leaves are submerged in the water. Okay, so it's very simple. And we're gonna have to put on the filter. And we're gonna mentally count 30 seconds. So during this time, uh, 30 seconds, you can opt to meditate like, like I'm what I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm uh, controlling my breathing, gently inhaling and exhaling. And uh, that's part of the uh, mindfulness exercise along with drinking tea. Okay. So I'm mentally counting and at the same time after 30 seconds or in the uh, first steep or basically this is the second steep because the first one is the rinse okay so we're getting all of the uh, droplets and make sure that there's no water left in the bottom of the guy one Okay, that also ensures that we get all of the flavors. Okay. So, I'm pulling out my tea towel closer for convenience so I can dry up the bottom of the guy one. Okay. Pop off the filter and... Okay, clean the bottom of the Gangdao Bay and then pour the tea on the teacups. So I make sure to pour just enough so that uh, I can pick I can still pick up the teacup even if it is hot. So we, before we drink or when we use the uh, teaware, we normally try to dry the bottom so that it won't be, with the tea towel, so that it won't be dripping around. Uh, even though we have the uh, cha pan, uh, shui pan, Or the tea tray, uh, it's part of the etiquette to clean the bottom of the teaware that you're using. So when you're drinking alone, you only use one teacup and then just try to uh, pour in the other two teacups on that one particular teacup that you're using. So you don't drink on all of the, the teacups. You just drink on one teacup and just pour, like pour the other two teacup teas on the one that you're drinking on or you're drinking with the chabe that you pick to drink with. So you're going to use that until the end of your tea session.